Hello viewers, today for repair I have another Uniden uh, EXAI7980 and I did just work on one of these a couple of weeks ago and um, I'm glad to have another one in here because these are really good phones. Um, anyways, this is Pat's equipment and there's two problems with it. The first problem is that the battery is no longer holding a charge pretty much whatsoever. Um, as you can see the handset is just not working and um, so I've purchased a new battery and we're going to put that new battery in in a moment. Uh, the second problem which I can't really demonstrate is that some of the buttons are sticky, particularly the pound key. Um, so we're going to uh, open up the handset and we're going to clean out the dial pad and uh, get all the buttons working as they should be and that's pretty much all that we're going to do with this telephone this one is in really nice condition um, the antenna is still completely intact with no a little bit of bend there but otherwise it's pretty good and that's kind of uncommon uh, this one seems okay but a lot of these tele um, these antennas they get brittle uh, over the years which is a shame uh, but anyways so first we'll start with stripping down the handset um, first thing we're going to do is pull off the back cover and I've already removed the battery uh, because it was no good um, but it was operating just as I showed it was um, what happened was this sat in storage for some time and the battery the voltage dropped too low on the battery and uh, it simply would not even recognize it was in a charger so um, there's two screws on the back of here which we're going to undo now this telephone has a headset jack so it's kind of important that we open that up at this point in the game so open that up and now we'll just start to pull it apart and uh, because these are actually built reasonably well um, this should come apart with pretty much no effort like it just did so at this point we have the internals of the telephone board exposed and uh, I'm going to put my uh, electrostatic thing on here really should get a better one of these so it's not so much a struggle but anyways all right so now we're going to remove the electronics board from the telephone case so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'll remove the battery terminals uh, because these screws also hold in the board Okay, so those have now been removed. The next thing I'll uh, take off is this center set of screws. And these screws are different, so I'm going to keep note of which screws go where inside the telephone. And lastly, um, we have uh, actually no I believe that's all the screws that there is so now at this point that the telephone um, should be able to come apart now I'm going to um, remove the receiver capsule at this point um, because I want to get this casing alone so I'm just going to undo these three screws up here at the top
Okay, so now this will allow me to remove uh, the receiver capsule. And I'm going to slide the antenna out of place. And now um, we just have the part that I want to clean, which is the uh, telephone casing here. Now, one of the things I really like about these telephones, and it's a very good design, is this dial pad. This sits over the board like this, and it covers everything. So there's really no way for uh, any junk to get in under the dialer. And it's very effective because as you can see here, there's really no junk on the dialer whatsoever. This is perfectly clean. So I'm not even going to touch this um, in terms of cleaning. I'm just going to set that aside and leave a bit. Oh, excuse me. Um, however, what does need to be cleaned is uh, this here. There's some junk in between there. Not, it's not bad at all, but we'll clean that out. And um, the thing to clean inside of here, because that's what's causing it to be a little sticky. And this too is, is really, um, does not need to be cleaned. So I'll just put that over there. Um, I'll put it like that. Um, so my process for cleaning these is relatively not spectacular. You typically just take a wet, um, actually I forgot to uh, get more water, but what I generally do is I take a, a toothbrush and um, for this anyways, I'll just go around here like this and clean it all off. And um, you do have to be somewhat careful with these dial pads because the buttons are connected by um, little plastic pieces. And if you're overly aggressive, they can break, but they will take a fair bit of abuse. So you can clean those relatively easily. And um, for this, what I usually do is, uh, oops, uh, okay. I take one of these cotton swabs and I'll go in here like this and clean it out that way. And that's the most effective way I can I have found anyways. It's not fast, but it works uh, very well. Okay, now that this has been cleaned, I'm going to begin to reassemble this. So we put the dial, the buttons in first. As you can see, all that junk is now gone from in and around the, the buttons. The next thing that goes on is this. And then uh, I'm going to reinstall the receiver capsule. So the first thing we're going to do is put the ring back in. And then the first thing you got to do is thread the wire for the antenna back in place. And then um, This thing here at the top serves as the clip for the outer shell, so uh, that has to face upwards. And then the wires for the capsule itself are intended to feed through there. Though this is really not cooperating very well at the moment.
Okay, so now I'm going to drop this back into place. Right, I'm going to reseat the uh, capsule itself first, and then I'll put this on. Okay, so now that's in place, and I'm going to screw this on. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is thread the wires into where they're supposed to be. Okay. So one each goes through here like that. And that's where it sits. So now I will set the board back in place. And if this is where it should be, the headset jack will be able to close. Now I will put the screws back in. And at this point, I'm going to give it a test just to make sure that everything is working. So I'll drop it in the cradle for a few seconds so we can set the security code. Huh, Durr. it doesn't have any battery contacts. Well, let's see if it lost the security code. Okay, it didn't. Okay, so it's it's working. Um, speaking of battery contacts, we'll put those back in now. Can't believe I did that. That was how embarrassing. Okay, now back on with the rear cover and uh, I start at the top, hook it into place. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky to get it hooked in place. You need to keep the uh, headset jack open at the same time. There we go, so now that's hooked in place. You can just close it up and then we'll put in the last two screws. Okay, and uh, lastly we're going to install the battery. This is the replacement. It's a Florion battery, uh, branded battery, and I always use Florion batteries. I've uh, tried many different models and I've had 100% success with every single one. Um, 
This one, I believe, costs about $3. So they're very economical. Um, I want to plug this in here. This uh, would have originally come with a uh, nickel cadmium battery, but I'm going to use a nickel metal hydride battery because unless you're going to deep cycle the nickel cadmium battery, it's not going to last you very long. Um, Alright, so I'll stuff that wiring in there and uh, on it goes. Now it's very important at this point when you just replaced a battery to charge it before you use it. I have already charged this telephone battery so we're going to go right into the testing of this telephone. Alright, now we're going to do some checks on this telephone. So I'm going to cycle through the numbers here. None of them are sticking, there's no uh, problems with nothing not working. And we'll delete all of that. Um, check the memory button, and that seems to work. Caller ID works, up and down works, delete works, select works. Um, let's cancel that out. Redial works. Um, turn it on channel Good afternoon. Whatever your mortgage needs, you can depend on our know-how. People's United Bank NA, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Today is Friday, July 29th. People's United Bank time, 4.06. Current temperature, 7 degrees. Isolated storms today with heavy rainfall likely. Highs around 8. Mostly cloudy this evening. Intense showers and thunderstorms. And becoming partly cloudy and humid. Lows in the upper 60s. Partly sunny Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Highs in the mid 80s. Alright, so I just picked up the handset and it switched over to the handset as it should. Check. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm going to transmit uh, through the handset again and you can hear it on the bass. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Okay, so now we'll check, uh, make sure it's connecting and disconnecting okay. Okay, now we'll check the base. to uh, test it, uh, test the ringing, so I will ring the line now. Let that go one more time. see here. I want to make sure we turn auto talk on so how do we get into there. Uh, whoops, nope, caller ID. Okay, so we're going to turn this on and call waiting is on and I'm not going to put the area code in. Okay, whoops. Alright, so now 
Uh, let's see what ringtone we want to use here. Or keep it on that since I think it has the most volume. And uh, let's see what the ring setting is on here. Just on or off. Okay. So we'll do one more test call, uh, one more test ring to make sure it's working. Um, okay. I'll call it again. Okay, we'll let that ring three times and I'll answer it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call um, a voicemail and I'm going to record a message on this telephone here and we'll see how it sounds. Got to turn it back off again. Jordan. Who else? You have finished addressing. Just press the what's the message? Press the pound key when you have finished. Okay, so first we're testing the speakerphone on the base. Testing one, two, three. Hello, hello. Now we're testing the microphone on the handset. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. If I should send the message, press one. Otherwise, to hear it, press two. Okay, so first we're testing the speakerphone on the bass. Testing one, two, three. Hello, hello. Now we're testing the microphone on the handset. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. If I should send the message, message canceled. Goodbye. Okay, so that um, appears to be working properly. Now, the other test I, I do on these telephones is I turn it on and I unplug the phone line and I let it run in talk mode for several hours uh, just to make sure it won't have any glitches or anything. I've already done that on this telephone and it has passed that test. So this telephone is now ready to be put in service. The buttons are clean, everything is working correctly, and um, all the functions are, are good. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe, and out.